One of the questions that I receive very frequently is um, why our international participation has grown uh, each year during the Congress, and especially the China session has come to EAHP. Um, I think if you read in the news, at least what I've read, the EU-China relationship in general has grown considerably over the last 10 years in many areas. And during the last five years, that growth extended to European hospital pharmacists and what we have to offer the, the Chinese Association to help them in their everyday practice. Um, I think that both uh, EU hospital pharmacists and Chinese healthcare professionals know that they can learn from each other. The, the really hot topics in China are clinical pharmacy these days um, and a real interest in evidence-based medicine. I had the privilege of working in China in total for about six months over the last three or four years. So I, I, I know the China scene quite well. Um, I think what the Chinese delegates were looking for is how can they publish in the European Journal of Hospital Pharmacy, but also where can they learn some of the skills that we see in Europe and adapt those for um, a Chinese environment. In terms of what they can teach us, I think that they are beginning to understand how to run clinical pharmacy services in very large hospitals. So a hospital of four to 6,000 beds is not uncommon in China. And uh, I think that they can teach those parts of Europe which, does, which has few clinical pharmacy services how to do those well and how to manage resources well. I think the other interesting thing that will be a, a fascination for European hospital pharmacists is how you manage Chinese traditional medicine. Uh, it is for the first time that EHP has organized a Chinese session for our Chinese colleagues together with them. Uh, we wanted to share with them our knowledge to tell them how the practice of hospital pharmacy is being done in European hospitals and also to tell them about our efforts on the international level, on the European level, how we settle some issues where we wanted to be seen and heard. I think it is very interesting also for Chinese colleagues to hear about this because there are uh, issues that are common and issues that are global so it is uh, not, uh, we are not surprised that Chinese colleagues are interested in this. Getting contribution from different countries and practices is always a gain for the profession because this allows to share practices, compare standards and learn from other colleagues outside Europe and also helps to prioritize what we are working on. Non-EU countries actually uh, will uh, gain from submitting ABSTRA to EHP, but uh, is also the opposite is true. Also EHP will actually gain from having submit ABSTRA submitted from non-EU countries. Of course we, we want to be a, a global congress, uh, which, um, where our, our standards are, can meet with, with other global congresses, although our, our core is European. but. Our colleagues from Saudi Arabia or from Russia or from Japan or China, they are working in the same field. So if they think our Congress will educate them and as a, as a some, what we say, as a counterpart, they will present <coughs> their poster with us, that's fine. I, I would encourage that, that as many as, uh, as them uh, will, uh, will send in their, their abstract for our, for, to present the poster. I think that's, um, I always had uh, uh, the attitude and also um, tells that to my, to my residents, if you, want to, uh, if you want to go to a congress, that's fine, but try to make a poster. Then you're, then you're giving something to the, to the organization, to the, to, to the profession, and you get things from the profession for your education. So. Mm -hmm.